Hi guys, Daryl again from Yellow Iron Cowboy. Um, some time ago we uh, were running the excavators early in the year, early in the summer, and probably the spring more or less. Anyway, we've got a rock down inside the, down inside, you know, here, and the wires are like right up again there. As you can see from this one, the wires are like right there. But anyway, I got a rock in here, and a uh, you know, the sprocket's spinning right here, uh, like so. Uh, but it turned, it uh, severed one of the wires. And uh, I tried to solder those wires and could not get solder to adhere to these wires. I don't know what these wires are made out of, but uh, I uh, was able to get some silver solder to kind of stick. As you can see, one kind of came loose here. It's not there. It's right here. And it was only on by two wires. This motor's been acting not right. Uh, and I think it was because of the, you know, la lack of power. Uh, because of the wire, only had two, two strands. Uh, anyway, I finally was able to get the replacement motors. I got those from RC Brimham. Uh, I'll leave a uh, description to that site in my in my descriptions. And anyway, the first thing you probably want to do when you're doing this is uh, drain your because uh, you got to get this thing laid over on its side or 45 like I got it. Take one of these. Drain out your hydraulic tank so you're not going to run oil everywhere. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your track off. <coughs> and uh, when you're taking off the uh, planetary gear and the sprocket, you don't actually have to take this cap off. Uh, but you can you can take them take this whole unit off of here by loosening these one, two, three, four, five, seven screws, the smaller ones, this this uh, will come off. You can see right there is where they're screwed in. And so it screws in like that. Uh, then the next four, the bigger four, are for the motor itself. And I've already replaced the motor in here. And I've run the wires just back through the hole like that let's see and uh, this has a flat spot on it and that gear right there in the middle has a flat spot in it so you know that that lines up with that for your and then you also want to remove this uh, this bottom plate uh, so you can get to the where it's plugged in at here <clears throat> this is uh, the other side and they follow this channel right there same as you can I don't know if you can see up in there but anyway there's a channel there and they just go up into this channel and go like that like so and then they come out to where they can get to that anyway so that's how you want to do that much the rest of it's just putting it back together um, filling the tank back with oil and then firing it up and trying it um, what else I could tell you that's pretty much it it's kind of cut and dry but I haven't seen a video of this so I thought I'd make one throw one on the on YouTube um, I like to do if I'm doing something I haven't seen I like at least try to do something just for people's information here's your rollers Rollers are all good. Spinning nice. No squeaking. Um, cleaned it up a little bit while I had it out. Just full of mud and stuff. Um, I wish I had a way. Maybe build a, some kind of shield right here. To keep those large rocks out of there. The small ones go right through. But the larger ones will stick, stay in here. 
and then once in a while, you know, it'll the sprocket will catch the edge of that rock and it'll spin it, and that's what happened. It it severed severed a wire, and that's why we're here today. So, um, if anybody knows how to solder this kind of wire, please let me know. I'd like to learn. Um, I tried three different soldering guns, uh, various types of solder. Uh, the only thing I could find that get it to somewhat stick was uh, silver solder, and it got me through the end to to the end of the summer. Uh, we're in the middle of winter now, or not middle, but December winter time. So uh, uh, I think uh, the motors. I got uh, an extra one also. Two motors with shipping was sixty nine dollars from RC Bremen. Um, uh, it's cheaper than uh, I think uh, RC Country or not RC Country, but RC Four Wheel Drive. Uh, shipping's a little high, but they get them fast. You get them fast. I got this in like from what Spain or I can't remember where they come from. Anyway, I'm like in five or six days over here, so. <coughs> Anyway, uh, so putting this back together, you're going to put this back up here. There's four screws, uh, three millimeter, I believe they are. Put that back up in there. Um, get your wires run, like so. And then you can put the bottom plate back on, which is four screws. Uh, yeah, just four screws in the corner, here, 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 and there, and then uh, slap the planetary system back on it, tracks, done. So anyway, I hope this all helped you somebody out there. Um, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you on the next project. Thank you guys. Bye.